cuisine tonight and it's called a Veracruz uh, style cod and the cod that I'm going to be using is a blue cod fillet and I'm going to be showing you the ingredients that I'm um, going to use for this dish. So we have the uh, cod here. We have about uh, four pieces. We're going to be using um, Himalayan salt, or you can just use regular uh, salt, pepper, olive oil, and the recipe sometimes calls for uh, red bell pepper, but I'm going to be using the sweet, um, the whole sweet red peppers that's in, um, in oil, and this has been roasted. Um, I'm also using this mini bell peppers, scallions, or shallots. <laughs> Two cloves of garlic, four um, bay leaf, some potatoes which I harvested upstairs. So this is fresh potatoes from our garden. Um, I'm going to be using five uh, plum tomatoes or Roma tomatoes, green olives. Uh, it doesn't have the pit inside. Uh, coriander or cilantro and um, almonds. Now I'm going to be blanching this in water so it shouldn't take too long. Um, and then capers and then the last ingredient is a lemon. So we're going to be slicing the lemon. I'm boiling the water and in it I'm going to add the uh, almonds. So I'm going to go ahead and just blanch it for about for about 60 seconds so we'll set the timer to one minute and let's just start so no less or no more than um, one minute for the almonds to blanch okay so I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of olive oil There we go. And then just heat the oil for about maybe a minute or two in a medium heat until it's uh, shimmering. The oil is hot, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, shallots. Now we're going to add the garlic. Oops. <laughs> okay, let that brown for about uh, five minutes. And then as soon as the onion and the garlic starts to brown, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes, the plum tomatoes. Okay, so we're just going to cook the um, tomatoes for about 10 minutes until uh, it breaks down. So we're going to go ahead and add um, the potatoes. 
There you go. Tomatoes and potatoes are in the pot. Now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, bell peppers. Mix it up. Wow, this is really colorful. Look at those colors. Those bright colors. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and season it with uh, some pink Himalayan salt. And add some uh, pepper. And just mix it. So all the flavors are, uh, get all mixed, mixed in and becomes really savory. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to fuel up again. Really good. Just to note that when you're adding, um, when you're seasoning the dish with the uh, salt, make sure you only add a little bit because there's already salt in the uh, roasted peppers that we're going to add. And there's also some, um, uh, it's, the olives are very salty because they were in a brine. So just make sure you, um, you know, make sure that you, you don't add too much salt in the in the dish and also there's obviously a lot of salt in the capers so just a note so make sure you just adjust the taste um, so it doesn't become too salty when you're mixing everything okay we're just gonna cover the cover the pot with the lid and then just let it simmer for maybe uh, 10 minutes until the potatoes um, become soft. Forgot to mention earlier, you can also add uh, chicken, um, not chicken, uh, fish stock to the dish. So you can add fish stock or you can add water, depending on your uh, preference. But if you add the fish, uh, stock. Uh, it's more flavorful that way if you add that instead of water. Okay, so 10 minutes has gone by. Now we're going to add the uh, fish into the pot. So add all of your uh, cod fillet. So I cut the I cut each uh, fillet into halves so that way um, it can fit in the uh, pan. So if I leave it long, it's gonna be from here to there, and it's gonna be hard to cook. So okay, so now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients to the pot. We're gonna add the olives. Capers, and the roasted, we're going to add the roasted bell peppers. And then we're just going to go ahead and mix everything in the dish without just being be careful not to 
uh, smush the, the fish because the fish um, is very delicate. So just move the ingredients around the pot uh, by trying to avoid, um, you know, messing up the fish. Okay, and then we're going to add the bay leaf, the bay leaves. Okay, so add four bay leaves. There we go. Okay, once you've added all the ingredients in the pot, we're going to go ahead and cover uh, the pot with the lid and let it simmer for maybe 8 to 10 more minutes. Okay, so before we cover the pot, I forgot to add the lemon to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit of lemon. And then add our uh, lemon, our lemons to the pot. I've removed most of the seeds from the lemon, so you shouldn't have any seeds on the uh, lemon. So I'm just arranging it to make it look pretty. Because after all, we eat with our eyes first. As they say, so you want to make it look like it's very pretty and edible and really taste good at the same time. Once I added the lemon, I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, almonds. Just kind of spread that around. I know it's uh, very unusual adding the almonds to this dish, but that's what it calls for. So we're going to go ahead and add um, the almonds that we blanched earlier. There we go. And then finally we can go ahead and cover this. Cover the pot with the lid. There you go, and then we'll just let it cook for maybe four to five more minutes until the fish um, soaks up all that juice and that flavor in that pot. Just a note that uh, if you think the, um, the broth or the water in the uh, pot is um, evaporating too quickly, you can go ahead and add uh, more water uh, or more fish broth to the pot uh, if you think it's evaporating too quickly. Um, because the consistency of this dish should be uh, like soupy. It should be very soupy. So it shouldn't be too dry. Some cooked rice. And I'm just going to go ahead and plate this. Voila! Okay, so our dish is done. There you go. This is a Vera Cruz uh, style uh, cod. So this is cod filet that I used. We're just going to go ahead and plate this and get ready for dinner. There we go. It's really hot. There we go. 
We're just going to scoop some of that stuff and put it over our rice. Cheers, Cheers, my dear. Thank you. Mm. After work beer. Yes. Okay. Cod. So it's got cod, potatoes, mm -hmm. which I picked from oh, those are rooftop. Oh, the Viking potatoes. Nice. Okay. Those are potatoes. Holy smokes. Yeah. Everything. Cilantro on top. Wow. Let's dig in. Yeah. The almond. Gracias. Mm. Mm, delicioso. Wait, I'm gonna start talking in Spanish now. Oh no, no, hablo español. Now that I made a Mexican dish. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Mm. Oh, I just found some cilantro. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get that in every bite. And capers too. Capers, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. And the lemon adds a little citrusy to it mm -hmm. because of the fish you kind of need a little bit of citrus all right mm. yum yum mm -mm -mm. 